Rare earth resources are one of the indispensable but very scarce natural resources. According to statistics, for every six professional technologies developed in the world, one of them must use rare earth resources. So, what about China's rare earth technology? I would like to share with you two pieces of news about China's rare earth field, one is good news and the other is bad news. The good news is that, fortunately, China is currently one of the largest producers of rare earth resources in the world. But unfortunately, China's rare earth resources have always been restricted by the United States, resulting in slow production and no mass production at all. This is undoubtedly a major challenge for a large country in rapid development. Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. In today's video, I want to talk with you about China's rare earths counterattack. Before the founding of China, some developed countries have long recognized the importance of rare earths and have long coveted China's rich rare earth resources. For example, after the outbreak of the war, Japan repeatedly sent survey teams to China to look for rare earth resources. Even after the victory of the anti-Japanese war, Japan still has an obsession with China's rare earth resources. In the 1970s, the diplomatic relations between China and Japan have gradually eased. When Japan saw an opportunity, it sent people to China again, hoping that China could sell some of the mineral resource. However, China's technology at that time was indeed lacking, and there was no way to achieve the quality control of rare earth resources. More importantly, at that time, China did not know that there were a lot of rare earth resources in the northern region. It was not until the arrival of the Japanese that China realized that there are rich rare earth resources in the northwest region. Although knowing it, China has no way to develop and utilize rare earth resources at all. It only does the most primary mining to meet the rapidly rising demand for minerals in various fields after the founding of the People's Republic of China. In this process, a large amount of precious rare earth resources was wasted in vain. Although it is a pity, there is no way to do it. In that era when there is no way to guarantee food and clothing, we can only ensure the availability of mines first. Who cares about protecting rare earths? However, with China's accession to the World Trade Organization, the development and utilization of rare earths has also improved to a certain extent. At that time, all parts of the world knew that China had rich rare earth resources, so they established rare earth resources trade with China, and they all wanted to buy low-cost Chinese rare earth resources. In the eyes of the West, China was like a hillbilly at that time. Since you unskilled, I offer it to you, and you sell it to me at a low price. In the process of providing rare earths to the world, China constantly learns their advanced technology, and gradually China also has the ability to develop and utilize rare earth resources. What follows is the rapid progress of China's industrialization, and a large number of high-tech technologies have emerged. A new and powerful China has stood up. Until this time, Western developed countries led by Europe and the United States began to suppress China's rare earth industry. As a result, the export price of China's rare earth is getting lower and lower, and its price is catching up with the price of soil. Until one person appeared, this passive situation was completely broken. This person is Su Guangxian, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. In the 1940s, Su went to the United States to study. With his super talent for science, he also achieved very good results in the American scientific community. However, Su, who had achieved success, resolutely returned to China and chose to participate in the development of China's science. At that time, Su also knew that China's rare earth industry was still at a very low end downstream level and it was only exported to the West at very low prices. After the West processed high-tech products, China bought them at super high prices. 
it cannot catch up with the United States in a very short period of time. After some analysis, Sue first focused on the extraction technology of rare earths, because at that time, there was no particularly advanced rare earth extraction technology in the world, including the United States, so the utilization efficiency of resources was extremely low. If this technology can be obtained first, China will lead the world at the very beginning of the rare earth industry. In this way, Su led the team to start the research on rare earth extraction technology without any basic support. Under the correct leadership of Su, in a few years, the advanced rare earth extraction technology exclusive to China has been successfully developed, making China's extraction rate of rare earth resources as high as 99%, which is a technological level that has never been seen in the world. China has successfully entered the front-end position of the rare earth industry, and it will also occupy an absolute advantage in resource exports. From the cheap export price, it has directly turned into the export price that makes the United States panic. Western countries led by the United States soon sued China to the WTO, saying that China violated the norms in rare earth trade. At this time, a small number of Chinese enterprises blindly exploited rare earth resources, which led to the bad reputation of business, and also made China's rare earth advantage to decline again. However, these suppressions have no effect on China. In times of crisis, with the call of the country, most of the rare earth resources in the country have gathered together, and legislation on the restriction of rare earth resources has been introduced. To develop and support the global rare earth industry, and to expand and reserve the rare earth industry. Under the intervention of the government, China has made full use of the advanced technology of rare earth extraction and has accumulated 40 million tons of rare earth resources for several consecutive years. Since then, China has become a transit point of rare earth resources. Nowadays, the United States and the European Union have been unable to threaten and surpass China's position in the rare earth industry chain in a short period of time. If the United States, Japan and other countries want to extract pure rare earths, they must first send rare earth resources to China. There is no doubt how correct the policy of resource gathering at that time was and it was also this policy that allowed China to make another major breakthrough in the field of rare earths and even to remain invincible in the short term. Up to now, the utilization rate of rare earth resources produced in China every year has exceeded 70% in the world. Regarding the number of rare earth technology patents, China has basically reached the world's first level, and the number is more than the sum of the following countries. The advancement of the rare earth field has also led to the rise of other high technologies, and all this is inseparable from the selfless dedication of scientists like Su Guangxian. Please remember their names. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.